Welcome to Mavericks Today by Chat Sports. I'm Harrison Graham. The Mavericks won a game last night. They took down the G League Indiana Pacers as they sat all of their key players. And before we get into today's show, which will be about the NBA draft, the Mavs currently a half game back of the 10th seed, which would get them into the play-in. They're also 11th in the reverse NBA overall standings, which would mean they're just on the outside looking in in terms of keeping their draft pick unless they uh, landed in the top four via the ping pong ball. So a consequential win last night if you're on Team Tank, but uh, that's where things sit right now. Okay, today's show, uh, we're going to take a look at some draft targets if they keep uh, a top 10 pick. Nine is probably as high as they can get with without winning in the lottery and getting a top four pick. Uh, but 10 it would be the most likely spot they'd be. Again, right now they're 11th, which means that pick would convey to New York, but uh, it is a top 10 protected pick going back to the Chris Depps porzingis trade. Now, name a player you would like to see the Mavericks draft this year. I know you probably haven't done a deep dive into the NBA draft just yet, but uh, that's what this video is for. We'll talk about some guys that... Coop and I think could make some sense. So let us know who you would like to see at the Mavericks draft. All right, first up here is Grady Dick, the forward out of Kansas. Really just a wing, probably projects as a small forward in the NBA. He's the best uh, pure shooter out of the five players we're going to talk about. 14 points, grab five boards, 40% uh, three-point shooter. I think something he really improved on throughout his freshman season at Kansas as well is the willingness to put the ball on the deck and attack to the rim. Because he's got the uh, the frame and the body control and the skill to do it. He can put the ball on the uh, deck and uh, and dribble and handle and get to the basket. He's not, you know, like a Clay Thompson who's strictly just a catch-and-shoot guy for the most part. Uh, he's uh, very skilled. Uh, so uh, I like Grady Dick a lot. Needs to improve as a defender, but he's got uh, the body frame to improve in that area. I think if he was sitting there at 9 or 10 where the Mavericks could be picking, that would be a pretty solid selection. Let's go to Cam Woodmore here, who's more of that uh, two-way type of player, the forward out of Villanova, who played a lot of four for Nova, but I think would be more of a three uh, in the NBA. You look at his numbers here, 12 and a half points, over five rebounds per game. Uh, good from the field, decent enough from three. I don't overreact to guys who shoot in the low mid-30s from three in college, and you're probably saying, why is that, Harrison? It's a shorter three-point line. Well, Co college basketball is just not as smooth of a game as the NBA. Uh, you're playing with a lot of guys that aren't going to make it to the NBA. A lot of college teams don't have good point guard play, and so it leads to some bad shots at times. So uh, when you do find guys who shoot 40%, you're like, wow, that's really going to translate. But I think Cam Woodmore shooting 34% is fine. I think he can shoot mid-high 30s over time in the NBA. Uh, and if he can, with his defensive pe uh, prowess, I think uh, that would be a valuable guy to have who's versatile to defensively and can uh, guard multiple positions. Now, who do you guys think is the better player? If you think it's Grady Dick, type D, bonk. If you think it's Cam Whitmore, type W, uh, down in the comment section below. D for Dick, W for Whitmore. Let us know in the comment section. All right, let's go to Keontae George, another Big 12 player here. Uh, Keontae George uh, from the Metroplex. Where is he from again? Cooper, Louisville, uh, as uh, he had a pretty good uh, – freshman season at Baylor. Had some up and down times. Like, he's definitely still a little bit uh, raw. Didn't shoot it great at Baylor, but he's got huge upside offensively. I mean, he had a few games where he'd go for 25 or 30, but then he'd also have, you know, three for 13 clunkers. And that's kind of how it goes as a freshman in college basketball. I mean, it's going to be up and down, especially when you're heavily relied on. You look at his numbers here. Uh, I actually don't mind the three-point percentage again. I mean, 34% as a freshman who's taken a lot of shots is actually okay. Uh, obviously, the overall field goal percentage, that needs to improve, but he can really score he can handle, he can play some point if you need him to, he can play off ball if you need him to. Uh, his offensive upside is massive, and after a guy like Wimbenyama in this draft, he might be the most talented offensive player in the NBA draft. So keep an eye on him. He's also in the category of player that needs to improve defensively, but he's got the athletic traits to do it. Uh, we'll see if that translates to the NBA. Subscribe to Mavericks today by Chat Sports because uh, – Listen, it's the stretch run. We'll see if this team makes the playoffs. We'll have you covered throughout all of that. Plus, uh, we will also keep you guys in the loop uh, on anything offseason related. Draft, free agency, trades. We got it covered here on the channel. So go ahead and subscribe. Let's grow this channel. That way we can publish more content. 
couple more players to discuss here. It's Anthony Black, the guard out of Arkansas. Obviously, uh, Nick Smith Jr. gets a lot of uh, hype uh, for the Razorbacks for this draft, but Anthony Black uh, is a solid player as well. He's also local, went to Duncanville uh, High School. Uh, he's the most NBA-ready wing defender in this class per most scouts. I mean, he's a plug-and-play defender uh, that can give you a little bit offensively as well. Now, he's not as skilled offensively, uh, at least yet, as some of these other guys, but the upside is still there. Averaged almost 13 points per game. Uh, 45% from the field, pretty solid. Uh, needs to improve as a jump shooter, but uh, I think he's a guy that could come in off the bench, be a wing defender as a rookie, and then go from there, hopefully grow and evolve and become a starting level player. I think uh, he could be that type of uh, player right away for the Dallas Mavericks. So keep an eye on Anthony Black. Uh, he could be a guy to monitor in round one. All right, guys, before we get to our last draft target, let's show Lucas some love. It's been kind of an up and down uh, stretch for him, but uh, Lucas City jerseys are available. Chatsports.com slash Lucas City. He made one of the sickest passes I've ever seen uh, against the Pacers last night. If you haven't seen it, just search Luca Pass on Twitter. I'm sure it'll pop up. It was phenomenal. Pick up a City Edition jersey today. Chatsports.com slash Lucas City. That link will be in the comments and in the description of this video. All right, we'll talk about Cason Wallace here next as uh, the guard out of Kentucky uh, is next up on our list. Uh, obviously, uh, another guard here, uh, almost 35% from three. I like that. He's also someone who can come in and defend uh, as well. Uh, I think with Wallace um, and Black, you're talking about like bench defensive guys early on in their career uh, that you're hoping become like quality three and D players. I mean, that's really uh, what you're looking at here. And the Mavs need those guys. They have missed Dorian Finney-Smith defensively. I know Dodo hasn't had the best year and he hasn't played great for Brooklyn, but they've missed his defense. Um, you know, Tim Hardaway doesn't give you any of that. Josh Green's had a solid year, but he's been up and down. Uh, it would be nice to get another player in that realm that could be a 3 and D type of player for this basketball team. So what position do you want to draft for the Mavs? If you want a big, type B. If you want a wing, type W. If you want a, G, if you want a guard, type G. Uh, let me know down in the comments. B for big, W for wing, or G for guard. And just to recap, our Mavs draft targets today, if they do end up keeping their first-round pick this year. Grady Dick, the kind of wing forward out of Kansas. Best pure shooter on this list. Uh, skilled offensive player. Cam Woodmore, the... Uh, Forward, who's a good uh, defensive kind of wing slash uh, stretch four guy who I think has potential uh, to be a good three-point shooter in the NBA. Keontae George, very talented offensively, still raw. Decision-making's not great, but the upside is massive. Anthony Black, the guard out of Arkansas, really good perimeter defender who has some offensive talent as well. And then Cason Wallace, who uh, can play multiple spots uh, on at guard and uh, can defend multiple positions as well. There you have it, our Mavs draft targets. If you are a true MFFL, type MFFL down in the comments. I think six games to go. We'll see how it goes. It is six games. They probably, I mean, at least got to win three to get into the play and probably four to secure a spot for sure. So we'll see what happens there. If you're on Team Tank, 0-6, baby. That's uh. That's what needs to happen. I'm just kidding. We'll see. Uh, we're just reacting to everything that happens. Appreciate all the support. We'll see you guys soon.